So one thing that a lot of hockey players have in common is that regardless of where we live, not all of us get enough time on the ice to develop and become better hockey players. We get to go to scrimmages, we get to go to games and training sessions, but for you to really be able to improve as a player, you need to be working on skills that are going to benefit you on the ice, at home, in parks, in a basketball court, just like we're in right now. So we're going to be taking you through a series of drills and skills that you can practice. It's not only going to build your skills and development as a hockey player, but it's also going to give you a lot of confidence and improve all of those skills that we need to be able to get a scoring more goals on the ice. But most importantly, none of the drills that we're showing you in these skill series would be possible without the hockey wraparound. This is an off-ice stick protector that goes on the end of your stick that protects the blade so you can train no longer on a tiny little shooting board. You can extend that training space to whatever surface you like. It means that you can practice stick handling and shooting all around your body without having to worry about keeping on one tiny bit of surface. Shooting at targets from a stationary location is a great skill to learn. However, in a game, it's rare that you're going to be standing still when you shoot. You're going to be in motion, under pressure, getting a pass. You need to learn how to shoot from all these situations. Here are some great shooting drills for you to try. Shooting from your instep. What the puck sees and what you see are two very different things. Expand your shooting gallery by pulling the puck into your feet before shooting. This throws off goaltenders and defensemen. Deception in hockey is not limited to shooting. It can also be involved with speed. Work on receiving passes on your stick and then delaying before shooting them at the net. Shooting from the pass. It's very important to learn how to catch forehand passes and backhand passes and then transition into a shot. Have a friend pass to you and then put the puck on the net. In addition to catching passes on your forehand and backhand, Take yourself out of your comfort zone and move around the area you're training in to get passes from other locations. Something that's very underutilized is learning how to receive a puck on your back or forehand and then shooting from the opposite hand. Shooting in motion against an opponent. It's rare you're going to have the ability to just stand still and shoot in a game. Make sure to challenge yourself by having a friend go one-on-one -on -one with you, getting around him and finding a path to the net. Reaction and rebound drills. These are one of the most important drills to practice off the ice. Have a friend pass the puck between your legs and then react as quickly as you can to move the puck and then shoot it on the net. There's a variety of different drills you can do with this. Find the best ones that work for you. Shooting from behind the net and off the boards. These are two great drills that you can finally practice off ice. Set up behind the net or on the boards, drive to the net and challenge a goaltender. Here are some key points to remember when practicing shooting off ice. Make sure when shooting to point your stick where you want the puck to go. Practice shooting from both forehand and your backhand. Also practice shooting from forehand and backhand passes. Practice shooting while in motion. Practice shooting from different locations around your training area. Practice reaction drills for better rebound control. So hopefully we've shown you a couple of great ways that you can practice and use skills that are transferable from off the ice to on the ice to make you a better hockey player. But we want to know what you do when you're off the ice. What are your favorite drills? But most importantly, if there's anything you want us to shoot next that you'd like to see, comment down below and let us know. We make these videos specifically for you. So let us know what you'd like to see. But most importantly, pick up your hockey wraparounds at hockeywraparound.com. This thing allows you to practice anywhere. Let's leave the shooting boards in the past and let's move forward to these things. So a big thank you to Hockey Wraparound and of course Lee Elias for joining us during these videos, showing you how to become a better hockey player with the Hockey Wraparound. And also last but not least, massive thank you to the Peterborough Phantoms for joining us in this drill outside today. Don't forget to subscribe, check out the videos, join us on the social pages down below so you can stay connected, subscribe, and take care till next time. ...for you at home. So we've made some changes to have a better overall fit, a better experience, and most importantly, to make hockey more accessible for the people out in the world. We're both excited and proud to introduce the new Hockey Wraparound 1.